In the American West of the late 1800s, few names were as feared and respected as that of Doc Holliday. Known for his sharpshooting skills and fearless demeanor, Holliday was a legendary figure whose exploits have been celebrated in countless books, movies, and TV shows over the years. But who was Doc Holliday, really? In this video, we'll explore the life and legend of this fascinating gunslinger, from his early days as a dentist to his legendary friendship with Wyatt Earp, and examine the impact he had on the mythology of the Wild West. So grab your six-shooter and saddle up, it's time to take a closer look at Doc Holliday. John Henry Holliday was born in Griffin, Georgia in 1851. The son of an affluent planter, he was a gifted student who excelled in his studies, particularly in mathematics. Holliday went on to attend the Pennsylvania College of Dental Surgery in Philadelphia, where he graduated with a degree in dentistry at the age of 20. After graduation, Holliday returned to his home state of Georgia and set up a dental practice in Atlanta. However, he soon learned that he had contracted tuberculosis, which was then known as consumption, a disease that would plague him for the rest of his life. In the hopes of finding a better climate for his health, Holliday moved west, first to Dallas, Texas, and later to Denver, Colorado. In Denver, Holliday continued to practice dentistry, but he also became involved in gambling, a pursuit that would eventually lead him down a very different path. Holliday was known for his love of poker and his ability to win big at the card table, and he began to use his marksmanship skills to make money as a hired gun. By the mid-1870s, he had developed a reputation as a deadly gunslinger, feared by many and respected by few. Holliday's reputation as a gambler and gunslinger continued to grow as he moved from town to town, plying his trade and earning a living with his quick draw and sharp shooting skills. He was known to be deadly accurate with both pistols and rifles, and he had a reputation for being cool and collected under pressure. However, Holliday's life was not without its share of troubles. He was frequently involved in fights and shootouts, often over petty disputes or perceived slights. He was arrested several times for his involvement in gunfights, and he had a number of enemies who sought to take him down. Despite these challenges, Holliday continued to make a name for himself as a feared gunslinger and a skilled gambler. He spent time in several western towns, including Dodge City, Kansas, where he met Wyatt Earp, and Tombstone, Arizona, where he participated in the infamous shootout at the OK Corral. Throughout his life, Holliday was known to be fiercely loyal to his friends, but he was also quick to anger and had a tendency to hold grudges. His life as a gambler and gunslinger was one of constant danger and excitement, but it also took a toll on his health, both physical and mental. Despite this, Holliday remained a legendary figure of the American West, renowned for his sharpshooting skills and his fearless attitude. One of the most important chapters in Doc Holliday's life was his friendship with Wyatt Earp, a lawman and fellow gunslinger. The two men first met in Dodge City, Kansas in the early 1870s and quickly became fast friends. They bonded over their shared love of gambling and their reputation as deadly gunslingers. In 1879, Earp invited Holliday to join him in Tombstone, Arizona, where Earp had been appointed as a deputy U.S. Marshal. Holliday arrived in Tombstone just in time to witness the famous shootout at the OK Corral, in which Earp and his brothers, along with Holliday, faced off against a gang of outlaws. The gunfight became one of the most famous and controversial events in Western history, and it cemented Holliday's reputation as a gunslinger and a man to be feared. Despite their close friendship, Holliday and Earp had a number of disagreements over the years, particularly when it came to gambling and money. Holliday was known to be a heavy drinker and a compulsive gambler, and these vices often got him into trouble. Nevertheless, the two men remained close friends until Holliday's death in 1887, and Earp would go on to play an important role in preserving Holliday's legacy and mythologizing his life as a gunslinger. Despite his reputation as a gunslinger and a gambler, Doc Holliday was a complex and multifaceted individual with a number of personal qualities that set him apart from his peers. He was known to be highly intelligent and well-educated, with a deep knowledge of literature and history. He was also a talented musician who could play both the piano and the guitar. Holliday was also known to be fiercely loyal to his friends and loved ones, and he was not afraid to stand up for what he believed in, even if it meant putting himself in harm's way. He was also deeply troubled by the fact that he suffered from tuberculosis, a disease that was slowly killing him. 
Despite his many virtues, however, Holiday was also known to have a quick temper and a tendency to hold grudges. He could be impulsive and rash, and he was not above using his skills as a gunslinger to settle personal disputes. Overall, Doc Holliday was a complex and enigmatic figure, a man whose life was marked by both heroism and tragedy. His legacy as a gunslinger and a gambler has endured for more than a century, and his name has become synonymous with the Wild West and the frontier spirit that defined that era. Doc Holliday's legacy as a gunslinger and a gambler has endured long after his death. He has been immortalized in countless books, movies, and television shows, and his life and legend have become an indelible part of American folklore. Holiday's impact on the history of the American West is also significant. He was a key figure in some of the most famous events of the era, including the shootout at the OK Corral, and his skills as a gambler and a gunslinger helped to shape the culture of the frontier. However, Holiday's legacy is not without controversy. Some historians have criticized the way that he and other gunslingers have been romanticized and mythologized in popular culture, arguing that this has obscured the true violence and lawlessness of the Wild West. Despite these debates, it is clear that Doc Holliday remains a fascinating and iconic figure in American history. His life and legend have inspired countless books, movies, and songs, and his legacy as a gunslinger and a gambler continues to captivate audiences around the world. In conclusion, Doc Holliday was one of the most fascinating and complex figures of the American West. His life as a gambler and gunslinger was marked by both heroism and tragedy, and his legacy as a legendary figure of the Wild West has endured for more than a century. Holliday's story is a reminder of the excitement and danger that defined the frontier era, but it also highlights the darker aspects of that time, including the violence and lawlessness that often characterized life in the West. Nevertheless, Holiday's impact on American history and popular culture cannot be denied. His reputation as a sharpshooter and a gambler has inspired countless books, movies, and songs, and his name has become synonymous with the spirit of adventure and individualism that defined the frontier era.